Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu 22.10 customization. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that we just got Ubuntu 22.10 version, in this video we'll see that up to what extent we can add it or you can say we can customize its appearance. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to the official website of Genome Extensions and from here it will give you an option to install the browser extension for your genome. Just click on it and from here click on continue to installation. And now just add this extension into your Firefox web browser. I have already done that but I have just repeated all the steps. After this step, what you need to do? You need to make sure that your Ubuntu is updated. So for that purpose, I'll open my terminal into my Ubuntu 22.10 and in here I'll update my Ubuntu. The command for that is sudo apt space update and hit enter. Give it your password, hit enter once again. After the update, we'll see if there are any packages that needs an upgrade so that we can make sure that we have all the latest things available. So we have 23 packages that can be upgraded. So let's see if we can do that. So now I'll use the same command, but at the end of it, I'll just write upgrade and hit enter. This step will take a little bit of time. Press Y and hit enter and let the process get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are done here and now we need to install some utilities. First of all, I'll install genome tweaks. The command for that is sudo space apt space install space genome hyphen tweaks and hit enter. Give it your password hit enter once again. I have already downloaded and installed it. And now I'll show you how it looks like and how it works. So I'll just search for tweaks in my system. Here it is. Well, this is a utility for genome. With the help of this utility, you can do a lot of customization for your genome desktop environment. For example, you can have different appearance, you can go for different fonts, keyboard and mouse, startup applications and many other things. I'll show it to you and I'll show you that with the help of this utility, how you can have different cursors, icon and many other things. So for the moment, I'll just close this one. If you remember, when we installed genome extension into our browser, now we need to install another extension into our system so that we can link the two with each other. Let me clear my terminal first and here I'll just paste the command and you can find this command in the description of this video. This is the command as sudo apt install genome shell extension manager. Hit enter. I have already installed this one as well. I'll just show it to you now. Here it is and this is how it looks like. With the help of this one again, you will be able to do a lot of customization for your Ubuntu 22.10. I'll just close this one and now it's time to download different resources to customize our Ubuntu. So I'll go to my Mozilla Firefox, I'll open a new tab and in that I'll paste a link. You can follow that link from the description of this video. First of all, I'll download a Mac OS theme. So I'll just paste the link and hit enter. Basically, all these resources are available on the official website of genome-look.org. From here, you can download different themes, different icon packs, different cursors, docs, different themes, and you can even download different wallpapers for your system. As you can see, we have all the categories in here. Just go into any one of these and you are good to go. After that, scroll down, go to your files section, and from here, you have different files that you can go with. I'll go with the first one, so I'll just click on this download icon. I have already done that, but I'll just show you how you can download it once again. From here, click on this download button and it will download a file for you. Now I'll go to my downloads directory where I have my Mac OS theme. Here it is. From here, I'll just extract this one in here. So I'll just click on extract. Here it is. Now I'll just copy this one. I'll go to my home directory and in here we have different hidden files and folders. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it as dot theme. This will be my hidden folder as well. So I'll just name it as themes and I'll hit enter. And in that folder, I'll paste the theme that I have downloaded. So I'll just click on paste and we are good to go. Now I'll just close this one. And this time we need to open our genome tweak that we have downloaded earlier. 
I'll open this one and from here I'll go to my appearance and under the legacy applications click on this drop down arrow and from here if you see we have Mac OS Catalina genome dot theme available I'll just click on it and now I'll choose this one to apply it onto my Ubuntu 22.10 now it looks like Mac operating system, but if you remember in Mac operating system, we have the controls on the left side of our screen. So now I'll go to my windows title bar section and from here in terms of placement, I'll go with left. And now as you can see, it exactly looks like Mac operating system. Let's close this one and now let's move on to the next one. After that, we need to download icon themes. Here we have a section for full icon theme. If you just click on it. It will give you the option to download different icon themes for your Ubuntu. But I'll go with a specific one. Here you have Big Sur icon theme. It is also just like the Mac OS. Down here you have different one. If you want to go with a specific one, you can look for. We have Windows OS. We have Mac OS. We have Ubuntu. And we have many more here. But I'll stick with Mac OS. So for that purpose, either I can look for a specific one or I can paste the link in here which will give me the option to download the one I'm looking for. So I'll just paste the link and hit enter. I'm going to download OS Catalina. You can also follow that one, but it is not a hard rule that you have to follow me. If I just go back, this time I'll show you that how I'm going to download Big Sur OS. So I'll just go back. I'll just click on this one. From here, I'll go to its files, which is right here. And it will give me different files to download. Here these are. I'll go with the black because we are going with the dark theme. So that is why I'll just click on this download button. From here again click on download and wait for the download process to get complete. And now let's go to the directory where we have our file. Here it is. I'll just double click on this one. From here I'll click on extract. And again we'll go to our home directory and again we'll create a new hidden folder. So I'll name it as icons. Dot icons. Hit enter. Now in this folder, we'll extract our files that we have just downloaded. So I'll click on extract and both of these folders will be extracted into our new folder that we have just created. So let's wait for the process to get complete. We are done here with the extraction. Now I'll again open my genome tweaks. Here it is. I'll just open that one and I'll apply these icons onto my Ubuntu. So again, go to appearance and in front of your icons, click on this drop down arrow and go to the top. And from here, you will see these two options. Go with anyone as per your liking. I'll go with the dark one. So I'll just click on it. So as you can see, we have successfully applied the icons onto our system. We are done with this one. And now I'll download some other resources from another link. You can find the link in the description of this video. This is the link, which is www.pling.com. From here, click on files. And here we have different resources that we need to download. First of all, I'll download manual customization Ubuntu. So I'll just click on this one. I'll download it. After that, we need to download these wallpapers as well. So I'll just click on these wallpapers. I'll just click on downloads. After that, down here we have fonts. You can just click on this and you are good to go. Well, as we have used Genome earlier, you can download this thing from there as well. But I like these one from here. So that is why I'm downloading all these from this particular website. You can opt to download all the related things from the genome website that we have used previously. Here the download process has started. So we'll wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with all the needed files. Now we need to download cursor for our Ubuntu as well. So I'll just search for Wemix cursor GitHub and hit enter. It will give you the link to download Vimix cursor from the GitHub repository. So I'll just click on this one. From here, click on this code button and click on download zip. It will download a zip file that will contain your cursor that you can use for your Ubuntu customization. We are done with its download and now let's go to our downloads directory. And in here you can see we have Vimix cursor available. And this time we install our Vimix cursor. So just double click on it or right click on it and click on extract. It will extract the Vimix cursor folder for us. Just double click on it and right click on it and click on open in terminal. If you ls here, you will see an installation file that is install.sh. So we'll just run this file in order to install our Vimix cursor. We are done with its installation. Now, if I go to my home directory, let me close this one. Let me open my files once again. Here it is. Here we are into our homes directory. If I go to my local, into my share, 
Here you will see, let me increase the size of my files. And inside our shared folder, we have icons folder. I'll just double click on it. So here we have two folders that are related to our WebEx cursor that we have just downloaded and installed. Now we need to open another instance of our file. So I'll open a new window. And this time we need to open dot icons folder that is hidden one. And we created this one. If you remember, just double click on it. In this folder, we need to add these two folder. So I'll just copy these two folders and I'll paste both of these in this folder that is icon. And now we are good to go. We are done with the cursor and now let's move on and let's see how we can add the fonts. So let me close this one. So let's go to our downloads directory and here we have our fonts. I'll just extract this one in the same folder. Here it is. I'll just copy this one. Let's go to our home directory. And in here we have a directory that is called as local. Open that one, go to your shared folder and just paste the fonts in here. Here it is. We are done with the fonts as well. I'll go back to my downloads directory once again. Before we move ahead, there is one more thing that we need to download and that is extensions. Here these are. So I'll just click on this one. And from here, I'll just download it. Let's wait for it. And then we'll move ahead. As it gets download, we'll go to our downloads directory. And this time we need to extract the file that we have just downloaded. We are done with the download. I'll just right click here and I'll click on extract. We have successfully extracted it. I'll just copy this folder. I'll go to my home directory. Again, go to local, share, and this time look for genome shell. Here it is. Just double click on it. Go to your extensions. And if you see, we do not have any extensions in here. I'll just right click here and click on paste. Open this folder. Copy everything from here. Go back to your extensions and paste everything in this particular directory and remove this extension folder. We are done with the extensions as well. Now what we need to do, we need to open the extensions that we have installed at the start of our video, if I remember. So just click on it. This will help you to enable all these extensions into your Ubuntu. But to make these changes and to take these changes effect into your Ubuntu, you need to log out of your Ubuntu and then log in back. So I'll just do the same. Let me close everything. Now I'll just log out of my Ubuntu. I'll see you after logging back into my Ubuntu. We are back and now let's open our extensions once again. So I'll just look for it and here it is. I'll just open that one. If you remember earlier, we do not had a lot of option with our extension. But now if you see, we have a lot of extensions that are available. We have Arc Menu, Blur My Shell, Cover Flow, Alt Tab and many more. Let me maximize this one so that you can see everything in here. So the one that you want to include, just click on its settings button. It will open another window for you. From here, you can select the options that you want to go with and you are good to go. And now we need to install one more utility in order to give the final touches to our system. But before that, we need to include the fonts that we have downloaded. And if you remember, we move the fonts from the downloads directory to its respective directory. So for that purpose, first of all, we need to open the genome tweaks. So I'll just search for that. Here it is. And this time we'll go to the font section. Here it is. And here it says Ubuntu regular. From here, look for anyone as per your liking. I look for Roboto because this is the one that we downloaded. So from here, you can select anyone as per your liking. I'll scroll down. I'll go with Roboto Italic and click on select. Before that, you can change the size of the fonts into your system or for your system. I'll go with select. And if you see, fonts have been applied onto the whole of my system. And it means we are good to go. Now it's time to install the utility that I was talking about. And the utility that I'm going to download and install is blank. The command for that is sudo space apt space install space blank and hit enter. Give it your password and enter once again. It will take a little bit of time. Press Y, hit enter. This particular utility will help you to customize your genome and you will have your doc at the bottom of your screen. And then after the installation of this blank, we'll make sure that this application gets started with the start of our Ubuntu. So before we move ahead, we need to make sure that this application takes the effect into our system. Before that, we'll search for startup application. Here it is. I'll just open this one and in here we'll add one more application. Click on add name of application is blank and the command for that is blank as well. After that, click on add and just close this one. Now I'll log out of my system and I'll log in back. So I'll just click on log out. 
and this time we'll not log in back as a regular user we need to make sure that we use another option i'll show it to you what i'm talking about so we are back to the login screen and from here make sure to click on this gear icon and go with ubuntu on x or now login back into your system and you will see plank running onto your ubuntu 22.10 this is how it looks like now what to do with these icons or with this talk well if you remember we have an application as extension just open that one once again so just scroll down and make sure to keep this option off as ubuntu talk this will remove the talk that is there by default onto your ubuntu 22.10 and now you can see we only have one talk in here and that is from the plank now to change this or to configure this one right click on any one of these and click on preferences and you can tweak this one as well now here we have appearance here we have behavior and here we have talklets and in here if you see we do not have our trash so i'll just click on it and our trash is here or let's say you want to have some other application icon in here let's say i want to have my archive manager so i'll just look for archive manager i'll just hit enter here it is i'll just drag it on to the left side of my icon bar and here it is and now it will stay there now let's go to our appearance and here it says icon zoom just click on it and you can increase the size so whenever you will hover over to your icon it will look like this how cool and how easy it is so we are done with almost everything and we are only left with one change and that is the background so if you remember we downloaded different backgrounds wallpaper for our ubuntu so for that purpose what i'll do i'll go to my downloads directory so i'll open my files here it is i'll just open that one i'll go to my downloads directory here i have my wallpapers i'll right click here i'll extract all of these in here again i'll open this i'll copy all of these from here and this time i'll go to my home directory and i'll open my hidden folder which is local one go to your share and look for backgrounds here it is here we do not have anything just paste the one that you have downloaded and copied from your downloads directory just close this one and now right click on to your desktop and go to your change background and here if you see we have all the downloaded wallpapers for our background select any one as per your liking i'm going to go with this one and this is how it looks like now if you want to change it just click on any other of these and you are good to go i'm okay with this one and it looks pretty good to the eyes as well and this is how it looks like at the end at the end i lock my ubuntu and we'll see how it looks like at the lock screen so for that i'll just press windows plus l key here it is and this is how it looks like so you can see how cool and how sophisticated it is to the eyes and how modern of a look it is giving to you so this is how you can customize your ubuntu 22.10 there are a lot of other things that you can perform in order to customize your ubuntu so it's all up to you that up to what extent you want to go but for me i'm okay with this one and that's it for this video I hope now that you must have liked watching this one and you must have learned a lot of new things. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. And if you want to suggest something, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.